Hey, look at there, we are live, and I have a special guest host with me this morning. Say good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Lindley. Lindley, you are awesome. You need to be fist pump. And uh, you're getting ready to go where? School. School. Go have a good day? Mm-hmm. Awesome. You gotta eat breakfast first, right? Mm-hmm. Give me a kiss. Mwah. You Love have you. to go eat breakfast too. I know, I will right after this. You go get yours. You oh. have more time than me. I know. Love you. Love you. Hola. Como esta? Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to the uh, Spanish version, I guess, of uh, 7 Minutes in the Morning. Where you get your daily dose from me. Hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do me a favor. Drop a comment down there, say hi. In fact, this morning, you got a, a chance to knock Joe off of the uh, the top of the championship. He, uh, well, never mind. There it is. Joe took his uh, regular place at the top of the heap saying hi, but that should not dissuade you in any way from going ahead and saying hi when you get here. Uh, and, by the way, if you happen to be watching on YouTube or listening on iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever your favorite uh, catcher is, go ahead and head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so that you can join in the conversation. All right, this week we're talking about uh, is your business running you? And we've we've covered a couple of topics today. One more test before we get into um, uh, what we need to do to fix this. Uh, the, the test today is, and I, again, I hinted at it in the title, are you always having to handle something? This this kind of ties in with what we were talking about yesterday. I keep looking over here to my notes uh, to make sure I cover everything. Problems getting solved, they keep coming up. If you're always having to handle something, then that means that you're not delegating well. Right, if things keep coming up, yesterday we were talking about how if, if the same problems keep coming up over and over again, this is a little bit different from that in that two things are not happening. Right, one, it, one, the other, or both are happening. One is you're not recognizing the patterns and putting a procedure in place to fix them, putting a process in place to fix them. The same problem keeps happening over and over again. No excuse for that. You should be able to identify that, put a process in place that prevents that from happening. Number two, and this is the one that's even harder, is you're not delegating well. There was, and I wish I could find this uh, this article again, but uh, I read a couple of months ago about a uh, tech services business owner who required all of his employees to say yes to every request that they got. The only way they could say no is if they got another team member and and consulted with them and they both agreed that it was a bad idea, then they would say no. Otherwise, they had to say yes to everything. Now, I don't know if that, you know, is, is the right solution for you, but the point is, the point remains the same. He gave his team the parameters to work with him and then let them go, and and let them solve the problem. Because you know they, if you've hired smart people, they might be able to do it better than you, or at least come up with something that you're not thinking about. Just because they don't do it the way you would doesn't make it wrong. It makes it different. That's not always bad. And even if it's not the best way to do it, it's a teaching opportunity, so you can help improve them. Now. What some people do, and this is a whole different week's worth of, of episodes. We'll have to get into this in, in a future week. I'll just touch on it here. Some people, some business owners will hire people that they are not intimidated by. Now, that's kind of a bad way to say it. But but they'll hire people that that they know they can't delegate things to that they hire worker bees that are going to come back to them every morning for instructions. And then you're going to give them instructions and they're going to go off and do it until something violates the norm and then they're going to, they'll have to come back and say, well, this isn't within my parameters. What should I do? Then you have to handle it. Then they go off and do it until they find another exception. 
That's not helping. That's creating more work for you. What you want are people that you can say, this is the portion of the business that I want you to focus on. And within these constraints, you, you have autonomy. Here are your limits, upper, lower, left, and right. E everything inside that box, knock it out. And, and then, you know, as Reagan said, trust but verify. Make sure that they're doing what you ask them to, that they're producing the results. Because, listen, well, I tell people all the time, results matter. Results will trump everything else. If they're not doing it exactly the way you, you would, but they're getting results, do you care? If they're not doing things exactly um, the way you've always done them, but they're creating results, do you care? Right? Give them the constraints and let them go. Don't, don't hire people that you have to hold their hand. Let them go. All right, that's it. So the question for today, are you always having to handle something? If you're always having to handle something, that's a big red flag. All right, so by the end of this week, we'll probably have uh, so many red flags, we'll, we'll think it's a Chinese military parade. That should be a big red flag if you're always having to handle something, that the business is running you. Tomorrow is Thursday. We're going to start talking about what you need to do to fix that from a macro. We've talked about some of the micro, but we want to talk about some of the macro stuff tomorrow that you need to do to fix that. Be sure and tune in for that. Coffee shop show should be coming up today at 9 o'clock. We'll see if we can't get one fired off this week. Last week, we ran into a few difficulties and had to postpone, but I think we'll be able to get one off today, so be sure and tune in for that. Otherwise, be back here again tomorrow. You're back just in time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow.